Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install the Pixelmon mod and obviously how to play it. Now in this tutorial I'm going to be showcasing the 6.3.1 update but this should still be like the same process as any of the future updates that the mod has. Now before we actually go in and download the mod I just want to make a PSA, okay a public service announcement that this mod is not illegal to use. So I get so many comments every single day on my channel saying or asking me, is, isn't this mod illegal to use? Why are you playing Pixelmon? No, it is not illegal. It is 100% fine to use. So feel free to download and install it for yourself. But the main reason I'm actually doing this tutorial is because also I get a ton of comments, not only asking if this mod is illegal, but also a lot of people ask, how to actually download and install it. Now, I have done one of these videos in the past, but a lot of people, I don't know, like they still didn't understand after that. So I'm gonna be doing another one here. I feel a little bit scrubby doing like a tutorial video because it's not like real content, I guess. I feel like, I just feel like a scrub doing this. But as long as it can help anyone out there, then it, it would be a, a good successful video in my opinion. But anyway, first things first, you are gonna have to go to the internet. Hopefully you have that. If you don't have internet, then uh <laughs> you know you're, you're gonna be you're gonna be in a world of trouble if you're gonna try to get the pixelmon mod so anyway let's open up chrome google chrome not sponsored i wish i was that would just be like cool i guess but anyway first things first you are gonna have to get yourself minecraft forge some of you guys are probably already past that step but just in case you aren't what you're gonna do is just type in minecraft forge hit enter click that first link and boom, it's gonna take you to, to Forge. So Pixelmon runs on my, uh, on Minecraft 1.12.2, so that is actually the very first version that pops up. But in case you do wanna install any other version or any other mod that doesn't require, or that isn't on 1.12.2, all you gotta do, let's say you wanna do a, a 1.7.10 mod, then you would just go over here, click 1.7.10, and then you would click Windows Installer. I'm not sure if this actually works from, I'm sure it does work for Mac, I'm just not sure what you i guess you would click installer or something but i use windows pc hopefully you guys do as well just to make it simpler anyway you just click on windows installer boom and it's going to take you to this page here if you do have ad block i don't know if this is going to work i do have ad block and it looks like it did work so if anything does pop up on this page all right do not click anything that pops up on this page all right do not click anything because the only thing that will pop up is like viruses or scams or something that you don't want all that you want to do look follow my mouse is go all the way up here and click skip it might it's not going to be that right away it'll take like five seconds for the skip button to pop up but once it does boom you click skip and then you'll see down here we are getting that forge download so what you want to do is go ahead and click it and uh, it should open up as such you might have to get yourself java as well i'll show you guys how to do that i guess if you don't have java then i don't think that this will work but you guys probably do have java already anyway you go ahead and click install client i already have it so i'm not going to install it again but yeah it, it will already be their default and you click ok and everything should be good now to get java all you have to do is i guess look up java and then boom click on download java and then click free java download and then everything else should be good i probably should have said that in the beginning of the video but if you didn't have already have Java, there you go. There it is. Anyway, on to the last step. This is probably, well, not the last, the last step as in like the last thing that you have to download. It's probably the most exciting part. You, all you have to do is go to reforged.gg. Reforged.gg. Link to all this stuff will be in the description, by the way, so you don't really have to worry about it. But anyway, you click enter or, or go, whatever you want to call it. And then here you are. Here is the mod. Um... All like the updates are all down here and whatnot, but all you got to really focus on is clicking this download button right here. And this is going to be a very similar thing as the Forge download where you have to wait until the top corner says to skip. But I am using Adblock because I'm a scrub. I know a lot of people don't like Adblock, but I am. So I'm going to have to hit pause on the site. If you guys are using Adblock as well, you'll have to do the same thing. So hit pause, no more Adblock. Again, you don't want to click anything here. Do not, do not. Do not, do not, do not, I cannot emphasize this enough, do not click anything on this page. Do not do it. Do not click start download, do not click install, don't do any of this stuff, don't hit allow, don't, don't, don't even touch it. Just go up here and hit skip ad in this corner, okay? Boom. Skip ad. And there you go, look. 
There is your Pixelmon downloading right there. And then once it's done downloading, all you gotta do is hit keep, and then boom, you're good to go. All right, so now what we have to do is actually go to your Minecraft folder. To do that, you have to go to your search bar in the bottom left here, and then you wanna type in percent app data percent. Just like so, hit enter, and then this is going to bring up this folder right here, which should have your Minecraft folder. This won't be, like, you have to run Minecraft at least once for this to happen. Um, and then, yeah, you should be good to go. So anyway, um, if you haven't tinkered with mods at all, then you won't have a mod folder. Uh, in that case, all you have to do is right-click anywhere that doesn't have a folder on it. Go to New, click Folder, type in Mods, all lowercase. It has to be exactly like this, M-O-D-S, and then click off it, and then boom, here's your Mods folder. Now, there's nothing in here, so all you have to do is go to your Pixamon that you just downloaded, hold it, drag it in, boom. All right, there you go. Now you have the Pixamon mod in your mods folder. Everything is perfect. Now you're basically ready to go. So I think we can just close out of this. We can, actually before we, this is all that you need, but personally this, in case you guys were wondering, these are all the mods that I use whenever I play Pixamon. Um, you don't obviously have to use any of these, but we just have journey map, which is the map that you'll see in the top left. Optifine helps with frames, like if you want to get higher frames, less lag. Uh, you can also do some other cool things with Optifine. Pixel extras is just gives you like extra commands and cool stuff. And then world edit in case I want to world edit anything. But anyway, this is my mods folder. All that we have to do now is go on and run the Minecraft, obviously, which is down here. Let's drag this over here. So we will say, you know, play the latest release, which is 1.12.2. What you want to do, though, is go to Launch Options, which is right up here. Make sure that you have Advanced Settings checked. So you want to have, you want to have it on green, like as so. Um, now, I already have a bunch of different versions, but I'm going to show you guys how to actually get it. So you, what you have to do, hold on, let's go back. I feel like I didn't really explain that well. You want to hit Add New, and then you want to click on the, you know, what version you're using and scroll. Oh, actually. No, no, yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Then you want to scroll all the way down, and these are the versions that you downloaded. If these aren't here, make sure that you did install your Forge client. I don't know if you remember, but earlier, we when we installed Forge, we we had we hit uh, whatever install client or whatever, whatever. You just make sure that you do that part. Go back in the video if you missed it. That's how you get this part to actually work. So we are running this on 1.12.2. I have 1.7.10 and 1.10.2 as well, just from other mods that I've used. But we're gonna go ahead and click here. And then um, Pixel 1 actually does run pretty well on one gigabyte of RAM. But if you, have, if you have a pretty decent computer, you can bump this up to two, three, or four. I personally go with four because that is just, I don't know, it's just my, I have a good computer, so I can do that. You can also name your configuration if you want. So we're gonna name it that, because that's a beautiful name. That's probably what I'll name my firstborn child. Uh, and then, uh, what you wanna do, uh, obviously you hit save, so then it should be saved all the way at the bottom here. And then you go back to news, click on this up arrow, and scroll all the way down, and you should see your configuration down here. So let's go ahead and hit play and this should run Pixelmon perfectly. All right, and here we are. We have Minecraft up and running. So if you guys are looking for a server to join, I do have my own. Well, I mean like run with a couple other people obviously. Um let's call it best server ever. Actually server like that. Um, ever. There we go. And then the IP address. Okay, super important. You know, you can, don't miss this part of the video. You know what I mean? You want to do uh, play dash um, pokecraft.com. Best server in the land. Let's go ahead and hit done. And boom. There you have it. Best server ever. Let's go ahead and join. Say what's up to the boys. Um, and yeah, there we go. Everything is running. We got a ho -o. You're not gonna have this stuff. Obviously, this is my account uh, We got you know all the goods all the good stuff, baby. Let's get it But yeah, if you guys are interested in joining a server, this is the server that I play on It's pretty lit. It's pretty dope. We have um, we have events clan events every single weekend and it gets it gets pretty intense So uh, yeah, but anyway, that is how you do uh, install Pixelmon and run Pixelmon, all that stuff. If you have any questions, I'll be sure to do my best to answer all of them in the comment section. I hope that I did a good job with this. This was only like my second time ever doing a tutorial video like this before. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it. I hope that you guys all did enjoy. If you did, leave a like, rating, subscribe if you're new, all the great stuff, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye, guys.